Welcome to the biggest change in 3D Print Tech Design's YouTube history so far. This is the new studio. Check it out. So we just moved into a bigger house and with it came this two-door garage. So I'm finally going to be able to do some creative stuff and get to printing, making noise, making projects again. So in this new space, I get half the garage. I think it's like 3.7 meters. So that should be enough. And it's like five meters, six meters tall. So that should be a lot of space to do projects. But I'm hoping that you and I can grow the channel so I can take over my uh, girlfriend's place as well because she wants to have the car inside. I mean, who parks a car in a garage, right? Okay, so this is the space we will be using. So we have the garage port over there. The previous owner has actually left uh, quite a lot of stuff in here. So you have left some storage shelves. You can see I've already put up some of my 3D printing stuff there. He also left these very nice workbenches and some shelves, some cool stuff in the roof, and even this old pipe, which I think probably has some story. So we'll probably have to 3D scan that for a product. But yeah, we have this area, which is like a pretty good workbench but we need to adjust this space into my needs. So for me, what I need in a YouTube studio is a set up place where I can just walk in, I can turn on the lights, hit record, and I can tell the story. I haven't had that before, and I'm really looking forward to a space where I can keep machines running, like for days, for nights, doing projects where we couldn't do that in the same space that I worked before. So that's the dream, that's what this space is going to be, a production studio. I also want to have a space where I can start to do live streaming again, especially for my Swedish and Norwegian audience. Because of the time zone, it doesn't make sense for me really to live stream in English. It's just, it, it's fun, but it's not my native language. So I really want to connect a little bit more with the local communities. I can probably help a lot of small companies to, you know, get going and, and share how that process is done together with you guys. And lastly, another thing that I want to do, because this is going to be a ready to go studio, I want to introduce sponsor spots. So that's basically a space where a sponsor can pay and they will be visible in any of the videos, live streams, projects. It's like, you know, product placement. I'll, I'll put their logo in a nice place, maybe I'll talk about them, but it's, it's a great way of just keeping this channel uh, running. So having heating on and making sure I can get some filament in, making sure I can get some printers to give away on the live streams, for example. The sponsors might be able to help a little bit with the heating. So we're probably gonna have to install a AC. At least we're going to insulate uh, most of the walls and the roof because it, it, in here it gets like minus 10 Celsius uh, during the winter. And that is no good for video recording or printers in that matter. So we need to be able to fix that. And having a sponsor will probably help with the heating bills. Maybe you saw it, but I already started to do some planning. So let's check out how the layouts can look like. So the plan is to have two work, work places here. This is gonna be the main desk. So you'll sit, or I will sit behind that desk. And the camera angle will be something like this, maybe a little bit more zoomed in. And I can, and I can like talk, and you will have some, some really cool wall here with some wooden features, some really fancy wood up panels. At least that's the plan. On this side, I will have an overshoot, so like a workbench where uh, there's light and a camera from above. So if I'm doing live streams, you can, for example, check out how things are unboxed, how I do post-processing or whatever. So yeah, that's one of the workbenches, and this is another one. And it's really cool to see in this AR tool on the iPhone that, that you can actually walk around the furnitures and kind of plan out your space. That's a really cool feature. On this side, where the mounting bucket is, you can see that tape down there. That's to represent kind of the half space on this wall here. So the plan is probably to build a wall here because we're going to need to park one of the cars in here. And to do that, we need to separate moisture because on the winter, when we are driving a snowy car, for example, it's just gonna be a lot of moisture in here. Even though we have a dehumidifier, I think we still need to remove the moisture or at least separate it. So we're gonna have a really light wall separating the car space and like regular tool workshop, dirty workshop with a clean studio side. And on this space here, uh, we're gonna be like, like a custom, similar to this workbench, but much prettier. So we can have some stuff in the background. 
And on this wall we'll have, of course, the sponsor spots, maybe some shelves with some cool trinkets and uh, yeah, projects that we want to show off. But on this side, I have a one by one meter space uh, reserved for like the coolest 3D printer right now. Maybe the newest 3D printer, maybe the newest 3D scanner, uh, maybe something I built, you know, something that someone sent over. So that's going to be a great like highlight spot to really show off things whenever I'm recording. So you'll see like from this angle, you'll be able to see that spot very well. Ooh, it's getting a bit hot in here. It's actually 25 degrees. I'm getting a bit sweaty <laughs> just moving this camera around. So speaking of studio, there's of course a bunch of new stuff. So for example, as you can see in the 3D drawing, we have some uh, rebuilding to do. We have to build up a wall, isolate, isolate the roof, and of course isolate uh, this wall as well. This is like a vent now, we can have that. The windows are also going to be closed to be able to insulate better. Luckily, 3D printers generate heat, so during the winter we can just print stuff and it will heat up the space. That's a big plus. And yeah, I'm going all in this. I've already ordered and received most of the like fancy camera stuff gear. So we have three semi-professional lights. We have some extra RGB lights for funsies. We have, um, we have light shapers. We have uh, workbenches coming in. This new camera that I'm filming on that finally lets me do 4K and with image stabilization and with autofocus. That's like huge. I haven't had autofocus before. Can you imagine that? So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So that is the plan for the studio. You should subscribe and make sure that you comment if there's anything I missed. Do you have any ideas? Is there any cool suggestions you want to see in this kind of space? Do you want to see the building journey or should I just skip it? I don't know. I'm probably going to do videos of both the building and projects that are uh, recorded half here, half in the old studio and just things that are recorded before the whole studio is complete. So I hope you can tolerate some, some messy camera shots and some messy projects going on. But I really want to start recording before everything's finished because this can take some while. I'm hoping you're as excited as I am. Yeah, make sure you subscribe. Let me know if you have some cool ideas or if you like this at all. And maybe give me a thumbs up just to help the algorithm. I'm really looking forward to share more projects with you. You see we have a bunch of printers filaments, cool stuff going on already, and there's just gonna be more coming. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.